there, everybody. How you doing? I am Francis, and welcome back to Pokemon Nightfall. Last episode, we started Chris's adventure. She doesn't believe in zombies, but Austin here claims that he has some proof in the back to help prove to us that the story is true. Also, I don't know how we got uh, to this hideout without seeing a single zombie since, you know, they're walking the streets, right? But Austin also told us to look around here first, so that is exactly what we're going to be doing. Um, I don't know what your name is, but we're going to talk to you first, okay? Donnie, right. How could I forget an idiotic name like that? <laughs> Yo, what's up? Hello, Donnie. Uh, by the way, why didn't you tell me about the infection right away? If I had told you such an incredible story, would you have come to the safe house with me? No, probably not. I probably would have laughed at you, said you were insane to be believing in zombies, then we would part ways, and then I would be dead. And you would probably be dead too. <laughs> um, no, probably not. I had to be around the bush, otherwise you would not have come with me and would be minced meat by now. He's not wrong. Uh, besides, I didn't have the time to explain everything to you. I had to convince you quickly, That that's it. Okay. Alright, well, thank you Donnie, I'm glad you saved me. Let's go down here. Oh, hello. Power generator. It's for generating electricity, well, what else does a power generator do? It's also very loud. I would be surprised if the power generator was not loud. Is it going to be part of the story where the generator is going to go out? Oh boy. I already have a bad feeling about that. Nothing, only trash. Okay. Oh, what the hell is this? Hey, I want to go there. The floor is totally rotten. I'll try to fix it later. Uh, okay. I guess that explains why the room is empty. PC is broken. God damn it. I'll still try and see if I can get it to work again. Thank you, Donnie. So until then, don't touch it. Well... Touch. <laughs> okay. Few lockers. I don't need this right now. Alright. Alright, we don't need lockers right now. Okay. Understood. Nothing. Only trash. Alright, let's go upstairs. Leo. A vending machine. Is there anything but drinks? Why would there be anything else inside a vending machine? It isn't even on. During our apocalypse, I don't think it, we really care if it is on or not. Smash the thing open and steal the drinks if you have to. This is about survival. There is medicine in the fridge that needs to be refrigerated. Okay. There are many medical supplies here. Only someone who knows something about this can do anything with it. Yeah, and we didn't find our Nurse Joy, so... We're on our own when it comes to healing, I guess. There are many medical supplies here. Only some... Yeah, okay. There is medicine in the fridge that needs to be refrigerated. Well, it's in the fridge, so it should be fine. An old PC, does this still work? Probably not. A laptop for surfing. This seems to be a small internet cafe. Laptop for surfing. Small internet cafe, okay. There is nothing to hear on the radio. I can leave it off. Alright. We'll do just that then. Nothing, only trash. Bedrooms. Two beds. Probably for Donnie and uh... Austin! I couldn't remember his name for a moment there. I was drawing a blank. A small bedside table. An OTV. Does this still work? I don't think it does. I don't know. Let's uh, find out. No, I guess not. <laughs> we're not even going to turn it on and try. Alright, well, we're done looking around. So we're going to talk to Austin and see this proof. Unless I can go out the back door on my own. Hey, you shouldn't go out there. Come to me if you want to go to the backyard. Okay. Now, have you looked around enough? Uh, yeah, to the backyard. Let's go. I don't think anything will change my mind. I'm sure this world isn't lost. Just come with me and let me know if you still believe that. Alright, here we go. Hey Krista, over here. Well, is that enough proof for you? <laughs> oh dear. Oh god, oh god, oh god! What is that man doing? She... Karita. He, he's eating the remains of that person. He's eating. 
That's what. He's eating the remains of another human. <laughs> no. No. This can't. Unfortunately, that's what the world looks like now, Krista. I was as shocked as you, believe me. Is the man still approachable? Nope. No, he's not. We can try that out. Hey, you. Behind the fence. You there. Hey. I'm talking to you. Now turn around. Yeah, I don't think he's approachable. As you can see, the thing before you is no longer human. Oh dear. Eating is the only thing these monsters are still capable of doing or thinking about. Why do you think he turns to look at us? He wants us as a dessert once he's finished with those remains. He... He wants to eat us? Yep. That's how it looks. And there is no way to stop them. And there is no way to heal him or make him human again. Yeah, he's a lost cause. And back to eating he goes. Oh well, now he probably lost interest in us because he can't reach us. Really, a fence can hold a zombie back. Our safe house does not seem very secure, does it? But there is one more important thing. This guy became infected because he himself was bitten by an infected. This means... This means that anyone can become infected when bitten by them. Ugh. I love the eyes that Krista has. Like, she really has an emotion behind her. All of us? Right. Unless we all prevent the infected from getting close enough to us. He's trapped behind a fence. But for how much longer? At the latest when he has eaten the last bite of that guy, the infected will go to our house. Yeah, and like I just mentioned earlier, a fence is not going to hold him back forever. I'm surprised it even held him back this long. Although maybe it's because he wants to finish off that meal first. That fence won't last forever. I'm surprised it even lasts. I'm surprised the fence is even a problem for the guy. So, do we have to somehow lure him away? Lure? That won't work. Where should we lure him to? You could throw him another chunk of meat, then he would be busy for a while. But I feel that isn't an effective method. Can't you tie him to a tree or something like that? And risk being bitten in the attempt? No, that is not a solution either. In this case, offense is the best defense. Even if I'm not a friend of violence. Yeah, we're gonna have to kill him, I'm afraid. There is no hope for him. We have to kill him. Kill? Are you serious? Yes. Even if you break every bone in an infected person's body, they'll keep moving. You can only kill these undead in one way. You have to damage their brain or even completely destroy it. I, I think I'm feeling sick. It doesn't sound nice, does it? But this is the only way to stop the infected and save yourself. I hope the example up front is proof enough that things are different now. I still can't believe it. How can you not believe it, girl? It's right in front of you! We still have to solve our current problem. We have to get rid of the infected guy. Kill him. But... But how? Hmm... Now, I'm not exactly a guy who studied martial arts. I even lost all my fights in the sandbox when I was in kindergarten. And Donnie... Well... He always pretends to be a tough guy, but... I know him. It's really just an act. He would flee from the infected. Well, I don't care how brave or how tough you are. I think any sane person would run away from somebody who can turn you into a zombie just by biting you. It is certainly not easy for me to say this, but I think you'll have to do it. Me? Are you sure? I'm a Pokemon trainer who never won a single Pokemon battle. I can't even capture a sentry. You really think I'm going to be capable of killing zombies when I can't even capture like a level 2 Pokemon? What? Me? But I'm just a kid. No. No. No, that's not what I meant. Your Pokemon, Chikorita. It should be able to handle the infected person. My... Pokemon? She... I don't think she likes that idea and I don't either, like I said. I just became a Pokemon trainer. I can't even capture like a, you know, level 2 common Pokemon that everyone usually has captured by this point in their adventure. I never won a single Pokemon battle. And you're expecting me to be a zombie. 
Austin, have you thought this through, man? Yes. The leaf on Chikorita's head is so sharp that it can kill the infected. Your Pokemon knows attacks that could hurt them, right? Well, yeah, I guess. So then it should have no problem with it. To fight against an infected person? Yes. Either we kill this infected person or he kills us. That's the way it looks right now. The pieces of wood are behind the fence. We should get it before it starts to rain. Otherwise, it'll warp the wood. What do you think, Vivi? Chit chit! I think she's down to try. Okay, let's try this. Okay, get ready. I'll close the gate. Don't you mean open the gate? Like, the gate's already closed. Oh, here we go. Hi, how you doing? Okay, he noticed you. Don't worry, you can do it. Simply attack your opponent with your Pokemon. Do not let him get to you. With the one key, which on the Xbox controller is the LB, you can use BB's melee attack. Okay, so these uh, controls are different from what I'm used to. Wait until an opponent is close enough to use Vine Whip. If the hit is successful, the opponent will be thrown back. If you miss, the opponent will attack you and VV will lose HP. Oh shit, okay. With the 2 key, which is at the right button on the Xbox controller, you can use VV's range attack, which is Razor Leaf. Alright, so we're using uh, 1 and 2 instead of uh, A and S. I don't know how I feel about this button change, but okay. With Razor Leaf, you can hit opponents from a greater distance. However, Razor Leaf has the disadvantage that hit enemies are not thrown back. Remember, you cannot use both attacks in quick succession. They only work when the blue PP bar at the top of the screen is full. Your current HP can be seen above the PP bar or in the Pokemon menu item, which again, my face cam's uh, covering that up. You know what? I'm going to change that with this game. I should have done that with the other games, but I didn't. I'm going to change that right now, okay? Let me move my face over. And... Oop. There we go. If Vivi's HP drops to zero, Vivi dies and it's game over. Vivi, let's go. Please be careful. Ah. Yeah, there we go. We did it. And we are unscratched. That was easy. Well done. Now grab that wood. Okay. I think Krista threw up. Um, Krista? Are you doing well? It's alright. I'm just a little bit sick. You know, from what I saw, we, we saw a man eat another man and, and we just killed a man. Yeah, but now we are rid of this creep and we have the wood. I call that a win-win. You probably don't feel so good because you just killed an infected person. Am I wrong? But please remember, they are not human anymore. They will never be the way they were ever again. Come back in when you get up again. Alright. Does the whole world look like this? I hope everything passes by quickly. Uh. Yeah, step on your corpse. First I murder you, and now I step all over you. Your blood is now on my boots. Hello. Donnie is using the wood to repair the floor just over there. That is very good. It will give us a little more space in our safe house. Then we'll have to wait and drink tea, right? Well, honestly, no. No tea? Oh. I mentioned it earlier. The chaos in Echo Street City had already broken out before we could complete our preparations. Yes, but we have food. Water, electricity, and four walls to keep us safe. What more do we need? Our situation is like this. First of all, we have no medical care. None whatsoever. No nurse Joy or anyone else with medical skills. We need it direly in case someone gets sick or injured, or if your Pokemon gets hurt. Upstairs we have some medical supplies, but neither Donnie nor I, or even you for that matter, know how to handle them. Or can you do that? Maybe I'm just assuming, you know? Uh... No, I'm, I'm just a kid. Well... We need someone like that. And now imagine we bring some people to our safe house. Then our supplies will go faster than we can scavenge. And as for the tap, well... It's probably a matter of luck how long water will come out. 
Oh, and our electricity here, uh, the motel here was no longer connected to the power mains. That's why there is a power generator down in the cellar. Y you saw it earlier. The generator is running at full speed, but at the moment we can hardly estimate how long it will last. So, you see, our situation is pretty tricky. What do you think? Yes, pretty bad. It's not easy for me to say this, but I think you should get all the safe hosts. And inspect the area a little. I should? What? Yes, it sounds pretty silly now, but listen, he hear me out. The infected haven't been in Equitree City for long. That means they will take a while to spread further. I think there aren't many out there yet, and only you and your Chikorita can fight them, you see. We need to find some people for our safe hosts who are useful to us. Or just they were alive and not insane, you know. If we do not act now and complete our preparations, then we will not survive very long, I'm afraid. Either we laze around and die early, or we strive to survive this whole time, whole thing. Well, when you put it that way, you know. That's why I'm asking you to look around the city for a while. Someone will probably know about medicine. It doesn't necessarily have to be a certified doctor. It just has to be somebody that knows something about how to use medical supplies. So please, you have to find somebody. Anybody. As I said, either that, or we all bite the dust. I like the option where we don't bite the dust. I... I'm afraid, though. Yes, I understand that. So, will you do it? Wow, that's reassuring! <laughs> Imagine someone going up to you being like, But... I'm afraid. Yeah, I know you are. So, will you do it? Like, yeah, that's reassuring! <laughs> yes. Very good. This will increase our chances of survival. As I said, look around the city. Okay. We don't really have much to say, but we understand. Good luck, Krista. Anyways, how are you doing over here, Donnie? I am repairing the floor. It shouldn't take long, so do not disturb me. Okie dokie. I'll let you do that then. Well, I am going to go out and be brave. Let's see who I can find. Oh, hello. Eh. Eh. I'm still not used to using the 1 and 2 buttons for this. Just saying, I kind of prefer using uh, A and S. I'm guessing the button change had something to do with, uh, you know, making this compatible with an Xbox controller. Ow! Eh. 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 Oh boy. Ah oh, jeez. I'm getting hurt. There we go. Hey, there's a guy on the roof there. Hey, you. You over there. Yes, you. You're the Chikorita looking at me. Oh, hello. What are you doing up on the roof? Um, would it be possible for you to help me? Can you get me down from this roof? Well, I mean, what it looks like out here. Do you want to come down from the roof, though, and be down here where it's dangerous? Um, how? Did you even get up there? Uh, well, you know, it, it's a pretty bad time to talk right now. My assumption is that you had a flying type Pokemon that flew you up there and then he got infected and flew away before he could harm you. Well, I could climb through the skylight into the house, but inside is an infected person and I have nothing to defend myself with. So, would you be so kind as to help me with my predicament? Uh, of course I can do that. Many thanks. I think the front door is open. You can go in, in there. Your trickery looks pretty strong, uh, I, I think. Uh, it should be okay. When the coast is clear, I'll get down. Alright. Just hang tight, buddy. I will save you. Oh, I can't uh, save right now? Okay, that's fine. Hello. I am here to murder you so that the person on the roof can come down. Okay, you can come down now. The infected is gone. Well, he's not gone, but he's dead. Thanks for rescuing me! I thought I'd have to stay on that roof forever. Don't worry about it. I'm glad I could help. What's your name, by the way? My name is Bill. The, uh, Bill is in the same uh, Bill that runs the Poker PC. I'm also known as Bill the Pokemaniac. You know, the one who invented the Pokemon story system? Yep, it's that Bill. Uh, yes, I've heard about that. 
but I haven't used it yet. Okay, I understand. No, you you really don't. I, I haven't ca captured a single Pokemon. You already know about the infected? Uh, as a matter of fact, I flew here from Goldenrod City. That's where it all started. Terrible things happened there, you see. So you were there during the outbreak? Then you know a lot more than me, or anyone else in the safe house for that matter. Oh, uh, well, let's see. Um, I heard that people go crazy. Both the undead and the living. Shortly after Team Rocket was in Goldenrod City. Team Rocket? The gang of criminals? I thought they didn't exist anymore. Oh, but they do. Unfortunately. I thought if people stuck together, they could stop this disease. But the infection also makes the living people go insane. I had to watch a cop lock a bunch of people into a casino. The bad thing was that there was also infected people in the casino. I cannot understand how someone could commit such a crime. How terrible. That was the moment I realized Goldenrod City was lost. So I want to use my Pidgeot to fly to Suralong City, which is located in Kanto. But unfortunately, there was a strong gust of wind, so we got off course. My Pidgeot and I fell on this roof. Unfortunately, its wind got severely injured due to the impact. And that's why I was on a roof. I couldn't enter the house. There was an infected inside. You wanted to go to Kanto? Is it safe there? No, it is not. Nowhere is safe. Honestly, I have no idea. But it would be safe in my lighthouse. Now, um, one question. Do you happen to know about medicine or anything similar? Because for our safe house, we need someone who knows something about it. I'm sorry, I'll have to pass. I can do many things, but not that. I would say you still come with us. You could be useful. That's a pity. I would like to take you to our safe house anyway. Is that okay? Of course. I have nowhere else to go after all. Yay, Bill has joined the party. It will sometimes be possible for Chris to recruit new survivors. These survivors should be taken back to the safe house as soon as possible. Okay, so just like uh, Dawn, if uh, if Chikorita gets her, uh, Bill is going to get her as well. So let's go. Oh, hi. Well. Eh. 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 There we go. Oh, hi. I always hate the snowballs. Like... I don't know why, I never liked them. Hey! Up here! You too! You all get to die! There we go. I wish I could get that, but I don't know cut yet. Is there any Pokemon in this city? Very small city! Oh, hello. A strange cloud prevents me from continuing. Well, that that's something different. Like, usually it's a crib thing that stops us from proceeding, but... Nope, just a strange cloud. Anyways, we should take Bill back to the safe house. Hello. Okay, nice place you have here. There's Austin at the front, the man who made this all possible. Understood, I'll go talk to him at once. Let's go to him. Hi, Austin. Oh, there you are again. I see you brought someone with you. Yes, but do not get ahead of yourself. He is not a medic. Is this our new doctor? Uh, I have to disappoint you. I'm a technician, not a doctor. Hmm. A technician, huh? Not bad either. Yes, I found him on a roof earlier, believe it or not. Um, on a roof? Oh, no. Not important. Yeah, it's a, it's a long story. He, he has an injured uh, Pidgeot. That, that's all you gotta know, okay? Say, do you have anything to eat here? I haven't eaten for a long time. You know, I was on a roof and everything. Uh, of course. We have some canned food here. As long as it isn't tofu, it's fine by me. Oh, Krista? Uh, the room is ready. Don't you repair the floor. I want you to get the room. You deserve it. Oh, thank you. Yes, unfortunately, the deco PC is still broken. Bummer. If it works, you could set up your room. Broken PC, huh? No problem! I'll take a look! That's why we have a technician. Give up on that thing. I've already tried to get it working. Finished. You are saying, Donnie? I already hate this guy. 
Now you can set up your room with this Deco PC. <gasps> Do I actually get to make my own room? Like, arrange my room? Oh, I'm gonna love this. I'm gonna have a blast with this. Really? Cool. But, uh, how does it work? Oh, very easily. Go to PC and choose decorate, then... Choose a kind of decoration. Then you can place the decoration wherever you want. Select remove decoration to remove a decoration and make the room. It's so easy, isn't it? The PC already has a few decorative items available. You can try it right now. Thank you, Bill. I'll go upstairs. You can always come to me if you need something. I will, thank you. Oh, I'm gonna have a blast with this. Let's uh, decorate. Shut down PC. Nice! Oh, hi. Well, uh, I see that you have furnished your room quite nicely. Isn't it nice? Can you be honest with me? Okay. This is the most ghastly shit I have ever seen, honestly. Wow! Hey, you wanted my honest opinion. I know that most likely there is almost no furniture in the Deco PC. You should search around Echo Street City. Sure you can find a few decorative items. Some decorative items can even be used multiple times. Take a look around the backyard. I think I saw something there earlier. Uh, thank you, Donnie. I think I'll do just that. If Bill is such a technical professional, maybe he can fix my poker gear. I should talk to him about it. Well, I'm gonna go back here. He said there was uh, something I could use for my... Oh, there is. This was not here before. A small table! Nice! Nothing else back here except for this guy we murdered. But I'm going to set that table. Oh, that's that one? Okay. I don't want to move that. And you? You know, I'll actually put this here, right beside... What? Are these really the same tape? I can't- I can't put two separates? They're literally the same thing? When I quit remove, does that mean it's like still there but technically not? Oh well. Yeah, that's gonna do it for today, alright? So thank you everybody for joining me and coming back to Pokemon Nightfall. I hope you guys are enjoying this. And I'll see you guys next time as we go upstairs to see uh, if Bill can fix our Poke Gear. See you guys then. Thank you for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye everybody.